James this is Wolfie. He's the new addition to our home. He is. Look this way. He is a he's a long haired Frenchie. And he's so, been running and playing, and he, he is panting away. So I know I'm going to get lots of grief over this long haired Frenchies. So, but anyway, either you like them or you don't. But I'll tell you this about long haired Frenchies. They don't shed any fur, they don't shed hair. They're, they're such cuddly little, nice little boys. Anyway, but anyway, the, this is part of a series of videos that we'll be doing generally on puppies, having puppies, puppy care. So what we're gonna do in this video here is it's all about a um, number of things that we offer people, we sell, which we think that people should have. And then, so the question is gonna be why? So we have a puppy care kit and it's everything that's in here. It's a $100, $99, uh, selection of things that we think you should have. So we're going to talk about what these things are and why you should be having them. So we're just going to put the items out and we will start telling you. Even say where we got our fluffy from. Where did we get our fluffy from? Andrew in California. Andrew Hamilton. Andrew Hamilton in California. Super, Super nice guy. Super nice guy. Beautiful he, family. He's been with us now for a week. Oh, and right on it. yeah, and this puppy is is uh, his. It's been socialized so well, and so well mannered. Yeah, so we're very pleased with Andrew Hamilton's yes. puppy. Yes, we think he's a great guy. Great guy. So this, like I say, this guy came to us just in great health. Oh, happy yeah. puppy. Yeah. Had, he's been so good. He has been. Oh, yeah. Excellent. He's been just a wonderful little puppy. Yes. So he's a really nice yes. little boy. So course, he's been. Of course, with age, when you're sending them, they'll send them young. They're too young. Oh, I thought you were talking about our age. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> My age, not James's. <laughs> That's why I got the sunglasses on, so you can't see the bags around my eyes. We've been, we've, I've, been, I've been blacking his eyes is what it is. That's the truth. Help. Sucking him this in is, the eyes. There should be a thing up here that says help, call the police up on top of this thing. Okay. Oh, so. and James has been a perfect angel. Uh -huh. So Just COVID's going on. Wonderful. So we've been quarantined now for, away from everybody for a month. Oh, we? yeah. Yeah. So that's what's kids, been going on. grandkids. Yeah. We haven't seen it. We, we, we have conference calls, but we, we yeah. haven't had any interaction with human beings other than, yeah. other than our doggies and ourselves. So. <laughs> okay. So enough of the preamble. Let's talk about these various things and why they, why we think. So this whole kit, you get all this stuff with it. So I'm just going to, not in any special order, but talk about why you should have these things. Well, right. you interrupted my uh, conversation about puppies sending them too young. Oh, right. uh, age right. of 10 weeks and up is fantastic. They're ready to go then. I think that helps a lot with the puppy. When you're sending them at eight weeks old, and maybe even flying them at that age, it's not a good idea. Uh, we don't like the idea are, about seven weeks at all. We would oh, never do no, that. No, 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 no. To, to separate fact, some people try to talk us into it. We don't do it. No. We like to do that second shot at nine weeks. We give one uh, at six weeks and one at nine weeks, and it's at five and one. And we feel better about them leaving home at ten weeks. Plus, my vet suggests ten weeks old is, is young enough to send on a plane. And then when they're a little bit older, they're even better. They're ready to go. <laughs> and, of course... Parents are ready to get rid of them too by the end. Right, well, but, this is this is a compromise, isn't it? Yeah. People want to get the puppies off to their new homes. People want their new yeah. puppies so they can bond with them. So they want yeah. to do that as soon as possible. But here's our thoughts on it. Odd. You want to have the nine, the two sets of shots so that you've got a certain amount of immunity. You yeah. want to have a few days after the first shot so you can make sure everything's settled down properly. Yeah. So I would not give a shot and fly the same day. I think that's, right. that's asking for, we've never had right. problems with it, but I mean, we just don't do that. Yeah. I hear some people getting them at, you know, seven weeks old, yeah. and that's too young. So they'd be separated from, yeah, separate from all their siblings, and I mean, it's stressful. You, yeah, yeah. No, that's, I, that's where, anytime a puppy well, stresses, that's where you get coccidia. Gideon, and Gagiardia. Yeah. We yeah. are on the side of, uh, yeah. we're pretty conservative, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, yeah. so, good point here. It's like, you we're know. We're not in a big hurry to get rid of our babies. Right, but, but I know that you want to get your babies as soon as you can. Oh, yeah. But it's all about having a people good People are saying, well, I need them to train. Well, uh, a young puppy like that is the attention spans pretty yeah. still. Well, like this guy here. I mean, here. you can get some training done. What is he now? 11, 10 weeks, 11 weeks old now? Uh, is that right? He's a little bit older. A little bit older? Uh -huh. he, he's got plenty of training to be done. Oh, yeah. He? Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's got plenty of training. But, but at the same time, we just don't hear a whine out of him at night time. No. no he's, he he's, knows it's bedtime. He's, he's not peeing and pooping in the house. He's 
He's in a he's in a pen area, so he's still. Don't get me wrong here. He's still. He's wanting down. Let he's him down hot. a little bit. He can run around. He's hot. He's a good boy. He will just stay right yes. here. All right. So anyway, we, we get we get inside yeah. yeah. So let, let's talk about these various things. So Vaseline, Tammy. What do we use Vaseline for? Be nice. You're the one with the nasty mind. Okay. You're what, the one that what, said be nice. What, why should we have Vaseline? James's mind is in the gutter. 24-7. So you know that's the question. That way. So here's the deal. <laughs> this stuff, you should absolutely, even if you're having, this applies to people who are doing natural births and people who are doing C-sections. You want to have this. If you're going to go to the vet and have a C-section, you better have some of this in the car because you don't know you didn't mess up and she's not having puppies on the way to the vet. If you're having a, a natural birth, there's nothing like taking a good old dollop of this and sticking it up the dog's rear, well, I say rear end, we're not talking about the butt, but the other hole. Make sure you slather that up because this is what gets a puppy unstuck. So, absolutely fundamental, comes in the kit. You want to wrap that puppy, if a puppy is stuck, you want to wrap that puppy in a the part that you're pulling on. So we're going to do a whole a, video on that. On a rack, I, ha I haven't, rack. And I haven't yeah. told you what you we're doing here. No, okay. Well, I haven't told you what we're doing here. We're just going to quickly talk about these things. Then we're going to do a separate video, by the way, and all these... So here's always the problem, keeping people's attention, them knowing what we, so we're gonna talk about these things very quickly, then we're gonna go back and we're going to have another videos on specifically the various different processes from imminent birth to having puppies. Gotta have that. Absolutely fundamental. You use it for lots of different reasons. Coating on teeth to stop them from being sore, but unstuck puppies. If you don't have that, you're potentially making a mistake. But have I it. love having C-sections. I'm, I'm yes. a strong believer in C-sections on our French Bulldogs because they're not always big enough in the back area for that, for the large heads. Yes. Nope. Not Stick up your nose. nose. To... So what's that? What is that? Well, this is good for sucking mucus out of a puppy's nose. You just insert it in the nose and let go. Don't ever blow the air in there. Push the air out stick it in the puppy's nose and then suck. just like if you we're doing a small child <laughs> you got a small child it. over here yeah and then also in the baby's mouth if it's got mucus stuck in its throat down you push the air out again place it in the puppy's mouth you can hold it open stick it down in there and suck that out right aspiration bowl Right. And also not just at birth, but I mean, if you have a puppy that's got congested or anything, this is also yes. a useful tool. So you should absolutely, whether you're doing C-section or not, that is fundamental. Okay, stethoscope. So, not a most critical piece of information, but certainly if you've got a puppy that you think has got pneumonia, you can listen to a puppy's chest and you can hear for some rattling going on. It'll give you a clear indication that pneumonia is present and what you should do next. Uh, if you've got a puppy that's been born and it's not doing anything, to be able to listen to a heartbeat, making sure there's a heartbeat present, also a fundamental tool. Or fluid. Yeah, or fluid. Or, or a puppy that's uh, um, um, a puppy, you can listen to things like heart murmurs. I know that you probably don't know what a heart murmur list sounds like, but if you've got five puppies and one of them sounds different, you've probably got a heart murmur. So, fundamental piece of equipment, you should have it. But it's also just, your vet's always a good... Yes, there all of these are conjunction with the vet, absolutely. That way you can go into your vet and say, hey, I've got a question, is that puppy's heart okay? Make sure you always connect with your vet. Hemostats, when do we use those? Well, when you're Duquan puppies, you use them. So we've got a whole video of Duquan puppies, you'd have to use that. When you're having puppies being born to clamp off an umbilical cord. You can these are handy for pulling hairs out of your husband's ears during COVID. Yeah, yeah. Or their noses. <laughs> <laughs> what else is it good for, Jamie? Uh, it's not even gonna answer. Not even gonna you answer. wanna ask me again? This is gonna go the wrong direction in an hour. So okay. I think these things in combination with three things are useful to have. So some dental floss to tie off an umbilical cord. Some forceps to clamp the umbilical cord, and some scissors to whoops uh -oh. to cut. To cut the umbilical cord, or okay. useful stuff. There's lots of other uses for these things too. But fundamentally, anytime that you're having puppies, you're going to want these. These are all surgical grade stainless steel um, scissors, forceps, and uh, obviously just regular dental floss, wax dental floss. All right, so there's those things. All right. Um, okay. This and this. And I don't have a thing of goat's milk in here, but that's. 
So we use, for, for bottle feeding, we use a regular infant, zero to three month old, silicone nipple bottle. Make sure you get the silicone nipple. Puppies nice like and soft. Nice and puppy tight. Don't go get these little puppy kitten kit bottles with tiny little nipples on. I mean, this looks huge, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's not, But is look it? at the mama dog's nipples. Teeth. They're that kind yeah. of size, yes. They're this size. They're that they size. They really are. Yes, they're that size. You know, when they've got milk in them, they're eventually get this big. Yes. But always make sure that you're not drowning the puppy because sometimes the nipple might be too open. Right, so we'll so talk. We'll talk, test it. we'll talk about that more in another video. Yep. So that okay. comes that comes with a kit and includes goat. By the way, I don't have it here in the kit right now, but it comes with a package of goat's milk too. So goat's milk is a great. Don't use cow's milk. Milk use goat's milk. Take that little bag out of there. Yeah, take the little bag out of there, <laughs> and the little cocaine satchel yep. too. Yeah. No. No. So, all right, we've got a feeding tube. Yes. I was so scared when I was introduced to this. But once you do it, you realize that you're saving a puppy and quick and easy to feed five puppies in three o'clock in the morning. And instead of bottle feeding, which takes probably 15 minutes for each puppy to drink what you want it to drink or needs to drink. But you uh, are able to mark off from the puppy's belly, which is in so one we've of got the a videos. Whole, we've got a whole video on mark this. Mark it off there. And then when you're putting it in that puppy's mouth, you let the puppy... Swallow, swallow it. it right you don't force it down there once that puppy starts swallowing it then it goes down to the area that right. it's supposed to so this is if one of those you try to force it you're going to do it down the wrong area so there's a whole video on just using this this is one of those things that's even hard to find at the vet and most of the time you can't even get this from the vet you need a feeding tube so that's even it. It, so there's a number of uses to this the fundamental one is that you can very quickly feed a whole litter of puppies in literally minutes if a puppy won't nurse, you've got to tube feed. You should absolutely always have this in your arsenal of things just in case you need it. Because when you need it, you won't have it. Another point you can use for is you can use this for enemas. So this is another thing I've never talked about before, but I'm going to do a whole video on this. You can use this for a puppy that's constipated. You can blow warm water off a puppy's butt with this. So more about this in another video. But you've got to have this. You should have this. Okay. So one thing I don't have in this kit that does come with it is a thermometer, digital thermometer, fundamental piece of equipment. It's a regular human thermometer. Uh, you'll use it to decide when your C-section is due and anytime you have a puppy that, or an adult that's got problems, fundamental thing is to go take that puppy's temperature always. So that's something I don't have, in, it's not here, but it's included in the kit. Um, Otoscope, nice to be able to look into a puppy's ear or an adult's ear. If you've got problems with a dog that's scratching his ears like crazy, first part of diagnosing it is with an otoscope. It's a little lighted otoscope, you look through it, it's magnified, it puts a little light on the end of it when you press the button. Nice little thing to have, an otoscope. Here's your lunch. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. So our phone overheated out of the sun, so we have to continue this video with the second part. Okay, so where were we? I think we were talking about, by the way, there's the goat's milk that comes with the, the last thing we talked about, I believe, was the uh, feeding. Let me so have, Let me have it so I can hold it. I can't see it that fast. Okay. There we go. Trimming puppy's nails. When they're about a week old, you don't have to trim as bad. Second week, you'll notice a little hook on the end of their toenail. Just a hook. Just trim that little toenail off. It's very safe for the puppies. Uh, you can get down real quick if you do it too far, but just that little end hook, clip that off because when they're nursing on mama, they've got their claws and they're pushing like this and fighting off brother and sister and it's scratching mama's titties. And it can get so bad that she can turn around and nip at them, you know, to tell them stop, that hurts. And maybe injure a puppy, so let's hope that that doesn't happen. So far we've been lucky, but you've got to keep them trimmed. Plus when they're little and their eyes are starting to open and they got long toenails, they're gonna scratch each other in the eye. Right. Create an ulcer, have yes. to go to the vet, How get a pin to, yeah. So, Always trim your puppy's nails. Good. We may have already spoke about this, but if we haven't, I apologize for the repetition. So you absolutely need to have on hand 
um, surgical scissors, forceps, um, dental dental floss. Because if you have a, you need to separate the puppy from its placenta. You need to clamp off. If the you're having a natural birth. Wait, well, yes. Clamp off the umbilical cord. Or an accidental natural birth. Yeah, exactly. Tie off the umbilical cord. Cut the cord. Going down the road and mama starts pushing out a puppy. You right. You have no choice. That's right. And then. But always try to plan your C sections. And also for divorce. Plan A and Plan B. Yeah. Always good. have two standby. That's right. Veterinarians call a week before your set appointment or a week before your due date that you think your female's going to have, not by what your vet says she's going to have, because you're doing your weekly temperature a week before due date. I'm going to hold video on that. Yeah. Yeah. But that. Anyway, that. Two Dew claws. Dew claws. This for dew claws also. You got a video on that? Too? A video on that. So remove yeah, dew claws. Great for that. Remove yep. dew claws. Cool. And then we've got I'll some. I'll let James do that. I can't do that part. So then we've also got some surgical wipes, some iodine sticks. They're all part of yeah. keeping everything clean. Some come with some gloves. All part of being sterile when you're having puppies. So that's all that stuff. And then the last thing is. Weigh your babies. Weigh your babies when they come home because they're always going to lose a half ounce the day after they're born but the next day they should be gaining at least a half ounce don't worry if they don't gain that half ounce as long as they're not losing that half ounce losing ounces or losing anything after losing two days anything. after two days yeah after two days you want to see continual gain after two days and that's the important part so this is fundamental every day yeah what do you do for bowl? china paper bow Real light and easy. Get it measured on here correctly. So when you're measuring your puppies, you know exactly what that weight is. There's a zero is. button. So yep. you put the paper plate yep. on there, zero button, weigh your puppies. Grams and ounces. Yeah. Very accurate. This is for your small puppies. Comes this with will it. last till they're about three weeks old. Yep. Then they get too active. <laughs> yes. But fundamental. This is a fundamental yeah. piece of them. And I think I'm not sure I talked about the thermometer. A digital thermometer comes in the kit. Fundamental piece of equipment. Any time that you're trying to decide on when whelp's happening, you're taking the temperature of the dog every day. There's a whole video on that. A week before said if first due date. If you've ever got a puppy or or an adult that you think has got problems and you call me up, the very first day I'll ask you is what's the running temperature? Running a temperature. What's the temperature? Yeah. It's running a temperature and it's over what 100. What is a dog's temperature, yeah. Over 101.6, time to go to the vet. Every time. 101.6 or more, time to go to the vet. 100, 100 and a half, no, probably that. fine. You can probably Wait. treat it yourself. Okay, that's it, and uh, grab up Pluck Wolfie there, oh, so we can say goodbye. Mr. Wolfie, there's Mr. Wolfie. <laughs> He's such a pretty boy. He doesn't shed. None of these fluffies shed. Well, so far. So far, one yeah. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thanks for what? Hey, well, there's the, the exit is always be nice to. So we always do our videos in one complete tape. Today the uh, phone got too hot out in the sun, so because of that, we we'll chopped this up and can we. So we've, we've lost out where we were. Yes. So another fundamental piece of equipment. Pu right. Puppy incubator. Puppy incubators. You'll love this. This is so important to have. Has saved so many of our puppies when they've been in trouble or mama's trying to wake up from her C-section. Keep your babies in there. Travel with it in the car. It has a car adapter to keep it warm as you're going there. So when you get to the vet's office, you got a plug in plug into this wall and uh, keep it plugged in while the puppies are being born and then set them in there. Two different versions, same price, two ninety five. dollars They've all got vents on them. They this is for bigger puppies, like labs. Uh, you can probably even get Great Dane puppies in this. You can also baby goat, baby pigs, you name it. goes in this little incubator here. Even a human baby. <laughs> it's not FDA approved. Let's not talk about that. Oh. Comes oh. with an adapter so you can plug this into your household current, plug it into your car, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Nothing here that can hurt anybody ever. It's very, very safe. Ventilated. Breather. Yeah, breather. Yeah. Got nothing inside to get dirt. The whole thing you can clean out with bleach. And if There's you have, no. You have oxygen. You can put the oxygen. Yep, you put oxygen inside also. it. Uh, right. It's got a little light inside, it's hidden in the wall so it, it doesn't get dirty, but it's not like see. you see at night time. It's so easy to clean. clean with so when do we use this? When do we use it? Yep. When we're going to the vet. Anytime. Every time. Every yeah. time. We don't want our animals oh, being... 
uses very little electricity that you can keep it plugged in for the first week just in case you get a little we, puppy that well, we gets do, cold. We do. We've always got oh, one plugged yeah. in for at least a week plugged or two. Yeah. Just yeah, in so case. If, if you've got a, a weak puppy, this is the, this is an absolute savior. This is yeah. this makes difference between puppies not surviving and having a very good chance. Of Don't ever try to warm your puppy up with thinking that you put a warm milk to the puppy. You always want to warm its body. Yep. First. On the inside, yeah, get his body, body warmed up before you put any kind of milk inside yeah. the puppy. Yeah. Temperature controls, you can set the temperature up, it'll stay that temperature indefinitely, so you can leave this thing plugged in for weeks, mm -hmm. and that's what we do. Yeah. Um, 295, that's the big one. this is a big one, 295 bucks. You'd use this one for Labradors, mm -hmm. I just American said Bullies, pigs. English Pigs, Goats. If you've got a dog that's less than 30 pounds, use this one, same price, but a lot more portable. You can get 11 newborn Frenchies in this guy right here. Yep. So they both work great, they're both oh, the same price. more than that. Yeah. There's everybody having 12. Right, <laughs> more expensive to ship, but... same price though. But, but these, we swear by these. I mean, this is something that everybody, if you're gonna have puppies, you need one of these. You know, it, you, know you won't need you one need, every time. newborn. Well, when we go to the vet, we can like have a C-section done in town, mm -hmm. which is typically about 1200 bucks. Or we can go an hour and a half away to Texas, and she's saying not to say this, and it's 229 bucks. It saves us a thousand bucks. Puppies come home in the incubator, nice and safe as that. And mum does not need to be with her babies for the first three hours after anesthesia anyway. So they're absolutely fine in here for the first three hours after they're born before they're reduced to mum. Incubator, lifesaver. If you don't have it, you need one. And, and I really like our product because it's not forced air, it doesn't dry the puppies out, the heat comes up through the floor, you don't have to have a nebulizer or a humidifier with it. Uh, it's very reliable, there's no moving parts. Probably one of the cheaper products out there that you can buy. And we've been doing this. This is a lot, literally, more ways than one, a life saver on your pets, your puppies, your babies, your four-legged babies, fur yes. babies. <laughs> Alright, hey, thanks for watching. So, where's Wife Aerie? Come on, Wolfie. Come on. Come on. Wolfie, come here, baby. Here he comes. Here he comes. Good mama. boy. Yeah, he's a good he's boy. Good boy. So, thank you and what for watching. We say, say goodbye from Tammy and James and from Love My Pups. Wolfie, Love My Pups. Hey, the important thing is be nice to your puppies. Uh, if you think we've got something screwed up, we missed something out, let us know. We're always yeah. learning ourselves and uh, we appreciate Q you watching. Q &As. Yep. Keep sending them. Yep, and uh, hey, if we've got something that you want us to cover or we've messed something up, let us know. We're human. Bye, everybody. Remember, you learn something every day. That's right. <laughs> Say bye.